Now that the 2021 NBA All-Star Game is behind us, and yeah, wearing Pacers uniforms in Atlanta was an interesting choice there, NBA, we can start looking ahead at next year's 2022 All-Star Game, which, at least for the moment, is scheduled to be held at the Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse in Cleveland, Ohio, home of the Cavaliers, on February 20th, 2022. This will be the first time Cleveland has hosted the NBA's best in a quarter century, and just the third time overall. Previous All-Star games were played there in 1981 and 1997, and yeah, that 97 game certainly went all in on the stereotypical 90s logo style, didn't it? As for 2022, well, it too follows the expected style of its era, and unfortunately for us here in the 20s, that means it's time for a template. Continuing the NBA's insistence on erasing any hint of creativity in its overall visual identity, the 2022 NBA All-Star Game logo again places the NBA logo to the left, a large all-star word mark to the right, and the host city name listed below. It's a carbon copy of the logos used for the 2018 game in Los Angeles, 2019 in Charlotte, 2020 in Chicago, and most recently, 2021 in Indy Lanta. In the interest of creating the illusion of some individuality in these logos, the league has explained what some of the elements in the design represent. The colors of the logo are wine and gold, which is, of course, a tribute to the Cavaliers and their latest color scheme. The Cavs are referenced to once again in the lower left of the design, with the use of the club's official wordmark logo for Cleveland. Over on the other side, in the bottom right, are three stars, which mark the three NBA All-Star Games, 1981, 1997, and now 2022, to be played in the city. In between, there's a depiction of the Terminal Tower, the 90-year-old 771-foot skyscraper which rises far above downtown Cleveland. One interesting positive of this logo, there's not a single guitar on it. Yes, Cleveland is more than just the home of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Two of the alternate logos were also released, both of which feature the Terminal Tower above the NBA's Starman logo. One of these two logos includes CLE 22 around the Terminal Star Tower, while the other does not. It's hard to get too excited about a logo continuing a template, but it's at least good to see some creative types moving outside the idea of rock and roll for Cleveland. We'll just have to cross our fingers and hope the NBA abandons this templated style in time for 2023 in Utah. For more on the 2022 NBA All-Star Game logo, as well as the entire history of NBA All-Star Game logos, you should check us out at sportslogos.net. And remember, if you like our stuff, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel.